Well, good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the Daily Scan for Tuesday, May 13th, 2014. Well, um, that's the reason why I was just a little bit surprised here. I was looking at the Treasury budget from yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you can see that uh, they were expecting 114 billion, but they only got 106.9 but their comments were you know it's just really positive so and it was a surplus in other words it was above the zero line as we can see down here and I was a contributing factor to that uh, because of the tax receipts I and kind of a large bill at the end um, for last year that I paid up the day before it was due, like most people do, that owe on their taxes. Uh, so this is kind of an interesting chart to see here that um, always in April, uh, almost always have a surplus, very rarely in the rest of the months, with a few exceptions. So you might want to take a look at that and see what you think about that. But for today, we have retail sales at 8.30, import and export prices at 8.30, and business inventories at 10 o'clock. That may affect the market. Swinging over to what's going on with the exchanges across the pond we can see here that for the most part Asia was positive or bullish and Europe for the most part is bullish with a couple of exceptions and uh, yeah this is kind of an interesting little piece here about how colleges are you know if they don't like somebody if some people don't like somebody uh, they just go ahead and put some signs together and go march in the administration offices and get their way. Not the way that I always remember it happening in my lifetime, but sometimes it happens that way. All right, let's swing over and take a look at the futures here in the U.S. Looking positive at this time. Gold is still below uh, $1,300 and dropped $2.30 overnight does not help my covered call and oil is up $0.25 cents overnight alright yesterday um, jumped in on the Russell we'll take a look at him as we go through the A plus list Igor and Apple and all of them um, were actually well the Russell was a 20 Delta and uh, the other two were both uh, 50 Delta and very close to one-to-one -one risk reward and in the case of EOG I had to kind of like reach a little bit and go a tad bit in the money for it but that's not all that bad since the underlines at 103.64 and our short is at 104 but we'll take a little bit closer look at that on the chart as we go through the A plus list and let's start out with Apple Uh, here with Apple, um, rather than wait until the afternoon, and I'm glad I didn't, uh, we already had a hook here on the stochastic, and we were waiting for the hook on the MACD, which we got right away with this gap up in the morning. So I got in this, uh, let's take a look here. I got in this at 1018. So that's where we are with Apple. So we're in there and we're watching. Let's jump over to Amazon. Uh, Amazon, we're waiting for an opportunity here. We have a setup. 
definitely a 50 delta on that one. Although, you know, you can do a 50 and you can do a 20 at the same time if you want to. I mean, if you get a real nice hook here, then it's definitely an indicator that uh, we're going into another down leg. But looking at what has happened here overnight, I eh, sort of doubt it. Looks like it's going to gap up this morning, so we're not going to get our hook probably yet. All right, let's go over here to the risk profile. Okay, Boeing. We were hoping to get a hit down here for a 20 delta. It hasn't happened yet. We'll just have to probably move that over a little bit because it's going to take a little bit more time for us to have an entry on that. Uh, Baidu, the iron condor here is working out really well. I'm seriously thinking of exiting it today because I don't want it to run away from me. I don't want a profitable trade to turn into a loser. So I'm probably going to exit this today. Now, um, some people might say, well, gee, why don't you just get out of the bear call side if you're afraid that the stock's going to continue to move up. I'm going to take a look at the chart here. Uh, we are bounced. We just bounce up against this 50 SMA here. Um, yeah, we may get a hook. We may not. Looks pretty strong, though. I mean, it had a really nice day yesterday. Uh, we'll see how it works um, as it opens up today and see what happens. But too many times I've done that. You know, I get out on this side, which is, well, let's take a look at the call side. And it's up $57. But, you know, I end up getting out of that. And then uh, it turns around and moves the other way. And I wait too long and I get $57 on that. Let's say, as an example, instead of getting 232 I end up with $115. Just as an example. So, um... Probably the best thing is just to get the heck out of the whole thing and just start over again. Uh, but looking at the chart, you know, it just may stay here and move down. We'll have to see how it looks today as the day wears on. We'll just be collecting some data. Celgene, uh, we're looking for a 20 delta on this. Had a real uh, big move yesterday. We're still, it is in a 20 delta setup mode here. And that would be for a bear call, and it would, it would be looking at an expiration uh, maybe out here on 523, which would be May 4, I think, and maybe a May 5. We'll see. Uh, Chipotle. All right, we have a setup on Chipotle. Um, I may have to, I'm going to kick this around in my head, whether it's a 20 or a 50, because there's not a lot of, uh, it's a lot of, looking just at the price movement, there's not a lot to the downside. But I'm going to put it on my setup list anyway for today, and we'll we'll take a look at that one as well. Costco, <clears throat> uh, Costco is making a nice move. We may have a trend reversal here. We do, did get a hook, believe it or not. Wow, that's really weird. To get a hook on that kind of price movement on the stochastic, we didn't get confirmation on the MACD. So we are still in a setup mode on that. And whether I would do a 20 delta, I don't know because we have earnings out here. We still could pick this as an expiration date though. This May 5. And uh, just, you know, let the theta work for us. Provided, of course, the trade works for us. All right, CVX. Uh, all right. This must have happened later in the day. 
because I don't remember seeing this when I took a look at it around lunchtime. I did not do my 3.30 look. So we have uh, two opportunities here for both uh, 50 and a 20 delta. So I want to put it on both lists for today. Moving right along. Take a look at the Dow. Wow, the Dow's really taking off. Those 30 stocks are doing well. New high. Okay, uh, here is our trade on EOG. And this is a 50 delta. We had to reach a little bit for that one in order to get our one to one risk reward. But, you know, if the indicators really do work, then we will be looking at a move and to get this thing out of the money over the next day or two. And we're just going to let it uh, mature FedEx. We're looking for at a target down here. We'll have to wait a little bit. Oops, wait a little bit longer. We're looking at a 20 delta, but we may change. I'm going to change this over to a 50 delta. It's it's making a very good move. So I'd be looking for a 50 on that. I need to make that a little bit bigger too. There. Okay. F5 networks. Uh, we're looking for. We are in a setup mode with F5. So we'll go ahead and mark that. Of course, the recent surge in the market may take us out of a lot of these setups. Uh, gold, yeah, could have done a 20 delta down here. Still, no, still could, yeah. Didn't really get the confirmation for it. We do have confirmation today. Uh, and that would be for a bull put, but I'm not feeling good about doing a bull put here. I might look for a bear call with a 20 delta here. Google. They were on our list yesterday too. Didn't give us confirmation. Still waiting. It is set up though. We're in setup. LinkedIn. Alright, LinkedIn, we're still waiting for an entry here. We're still in a setup mode here. And uh, yeah, LinkedIn's been the big money maker this year. Obviously, right? Uh, 3M. Still waiting for it to come to our target. NDX. Alright, um, this would be a 20 delta. That's what we do on indexes, at least that's what I do on indexes. So we're in setup for NDX. Setup for a 20 delta. Okay, Netflix. Setup on Netflix. Price line uh, we have a setup on price line uh, gonna be busy today uh, Russell we're looking at the Russell here we have 20 Delta and uh, we might be condorizing that quite possibly so we're going to look at another opportunity here to condorize it. But I'm, I may or may not look at that today, I'm not sure. As you can see, this 20 Delta is in the May 5 expiration. SPX. Uh, has not hit our target, still waiting. TLT. And looking a little crazy here. Um, 
let's take a look at the value of this May. Okay, we're going to get out of the May today. Where are we here? Can we get out really cheap? We're at 19 cents, so we're going to have to buy our way out of that rather than get out cheaply by just buying back the shorts cheap. So that's the way it works sometimes. Oh no, it's three cents. I looked at the wrong one. So we can get out cheap. So we're going to close the May TLT. All right. Looked at the wrong one. Thanks for letting me know. Um, Tesla still wallowing around down here. I don't know if it's going to close this gap or not, but we're looking for an entry here. So I have to wait a little while on that one. UMP we are in with a 20 delta. And how are we looking? We're in a setup here to condorize that. No, we won't. We said we weren't going to do a condor on that. No iron condor. We will put this next expiration out here on a 20 delta. So we're going to set up there for a 20 delta. It's going to take me a long time to type out all these symbols. <laughs> and last but not least is Visa. Um, this is alertable. So we're going to throw an alert in here. Uh, yeah, at or below. So we're looking for an alert on Visa for today. We need price to move down. So let's see if that happens. All right, so that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.